Hey guys, I'm not that happy this week. In this video, I'll be doing three mini rants all about cars, or more specifically, the people in them. Number one, rev heads. I was picking up my daughter from school the other day, and we were walking home, and then a car pulled up beside us, a guy in a ute, and what did he do? He revved his engine. <laughs> so what was the goal of this super intelligent human being? Was it to show off? Was it to be cool? Well, the actual result was that he scared the children, and pissed off their parents. My daughter almost cried. So yeah, thanks for that, mate. I remember when I was a teenager, walking down the city with my teenage friends, and a car would often pull up beside us and start revving their engine. Did we like it? No. Did we think it was cool? Definitely not. We usually shouted out, TRY HARD! WANKER! But yet, in 2020, we still have idiots driving around in school zones, revving their engines at kids. Yeah. Cool. So what exactly does this prove? It proves that the driver can slightly push their accelerator pedal in a downwards direction. It doesn't prove that you're a man. It doesn't prove that you're a race car driver. In conclusion, RevHead equals dickhead. Number 2. Idling Parents This pretty much happens every day that I pick my daughter up from school. Parents have a place to park their cars on the side of the road, and often, many of them, keep their engines idling. What's the goal of this? Perhaps they want to keep on the heater, or the air conditioner, or maybe the radio. However, all of last week, the temperature was quite mild. I was walking around in a t-shirt and shorts. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. But yet, there were so many parents keeping their vehicles idling. Perhaps there's some parents who think they can magically save petrol if they idle their vehicle. Turn off your ignition if you're waiting more than 10 seconds. Contrary to popular belief, restarting your car does not burn more fuel than leaving it idling. In fact, idling for just 10 seconds wastes more gas than restarting the engine. It should be noted that none of these parents are waiting for only 10 or 20 or even 30 seconds. They're waiting for 5 to 10 minutes. That's usually how long it takes for the children to come out. So what's the actual result of idling your vehicle while waiting for your child to come out? Well, you waste petrol, obviously, and therefore waste money. You're pumping out toxic exhaust fumes into the air, where there are little children and their parents walking past. And of course, there's the environmental pollution. So what does any of this prove? Well, it proves that you don't really care about money, or the health of other people, or even the environment. Conclusion? Idling your vehicle is wasteful. I could understand if you're living in the frozen wastes of northern Alaska or Canada, then perhaps it's important to keep your car idling. Or maybe if you're robbing a bank and you're the getaway driver, then yes, idling your vehicle could save you some time. But in sunny Queensland during autumn, I see no reason to keep your car idling. Number 3. Loud music. You know what I'm talking about, right? You're walking along and somebody rolls up with their four amplifiers and multiple subwoofers and decides to play a tune for you. Just the other day, I was walking my daughter home from school, in a school zone mind you, and a car rolls past with its windows wound down playing the latest coolest song. So what's the goal of these super intelligent individuals? Is it to show off? Is it to be cool? Is it to feel the bass? Well, the actual result, similar to rev heads, is that they scare the children, piss off their parents, and give themselves permanent hearing loss. Hmm. Smart. A few hints for those individuals. Most people don't like your music. You didn't actually write the music, you're just playing it very loud. So it doesn't prove that you're creative in any way. But it does prove that you probably desperately seek attention. So in conclusion, if you play loud music in your car, with the windows wound down, in school zones, or anywhere else for that matter, you are completely selfish. Anyway, those are the three things that really pissed me off this week. Thank you for watching. <laughs>